Ra ra ah ah ah, Roma Roma ma ga ga, ooh la la, what you been romance for? Boy, this your girl Shakona coming to you loud, live in the color. Welcome back to another Shakona's Advice Corner. Today I am giving you advice on how to deal with your disabled child. When it comes to having a disabled child, you need to set that child up for success and not failure. If that child is born with a physical disability, don't treat them differently because they are born the way God made them. If you have a able-bodied child and a, and a disabled child, treat them the exact same. If you let that able-bodied child go to a party, let your disabled child go to a party. Let them live life. Let them be out there in the world. Don't don't be overprotective because being overprotective and controlling of that child's life will screw that child up. They will not blossom the way that you think that they would. I'm speaking from experience. I was sheltered and I was controlled. Um, I, I still have that problem today of trying to be controlled and told what to do and what not to do as an almost 40 year old grown woman. But um, don't try to control your child's life. Guide your child to be the most productive citizen in the world. Prepare your child, your disabled child, for what's out there in the world. Don't shield them. Don't try to keep them in the house. Let them go out there in the world. Prepare them for the world. Guide them for what's about to happen to them in the world. Teach them what they need to be taught to survive in this world. Because you're not going to be here forever. You, when, when it's your time to go and God calls you home, your child need to be able to protect, your child need to be able to protect themselves, need to be able to provide for themselves and a family if they so choose to have a family. And it's up to you to teach your child everything that you need to teach them to make it in this world when your head get cold. When your work is done here on earth, your child needs to be able to take care of him or herself, whether they are disabled or not. Come on this side. You need to be, your child need to be able to take care of themselves. Why would you do that? Your child need to be able to take care of themselves when you leave this world. Especially your disabled child. Your disabled child needs to be able to take care of him or herself when you leave this world. Be able to balance a budget. Know how to know how to write checks. You know how to how to write bills. You know how to how to balance a household. Your child needs to know how to do all of that when you leave this world. And you should not be shielding your child. Do your puzzle by yourself. You need, you need, your child needs to know what, what the world will be like. Prepare your disabled child for what's going on in the world. Prepare your child. Teach your disabled child how to wash clothes. Because let me tell you something. Not knowing how to wash clothes is the most shameful thing in the world. Okay, it's, it's, it's the most shameful thing in the world and shouldn't nobody feel shame because they, because they was not taught. Okay, teach your disabled child how to cook, clean, wash clothes. Teach them everything they need to be taught because you will not be him forever. Don't leave your child stumbling in the world trying to figure it all out because it's not fair to that child when that child gets grown they got to play catch up because you was too controlling 
to teach them anything that they need to be taught. You want them to rely on you for everything. Your child, whether they disabled or not, should not rely on you for everything. They need to rely on themselves when they get to be a certain age. And once that child, that disabled child gets grown, step back. Cut the cord. Okay? Cut, cut the cord. Cut that cord. Okay? Yes, cut the cord. And stop trying to control your disabled child's life. Because they will regret, they, 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 they will not like you for that. You will regret trying to control your disabled child's life. It's not cool to tell your almost 40 year old child what they can and cannot do, what they should and should not do. It don't matter if they are living in your home. They are still grown. Okay, they are still grown. Okay. I'm quite sure they are helping pay bills in that house. So back up and back off. Okay, back up and back off. Don't control your disabled child. Don't do that. They can think for themselves. They just got a problem with their legs. They ain't got a problem with their brain. Okay. And you know they ain't got nowhere else to go. Because you don't... You, you you don't cripple them so much that they ain't scared to get out there in the world. And you got them like that. So you done created a monster that you cannot get rid of. So you need to just stop. Be mindful of the things that you do to your disabled children. Be mindful of the things that you say to your disabled children. Prepare them for the world because the world ain't, 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 ain't going to be easy on them. The world ain't going to be kind to your disabled child. Prepare your child. Give your child the tools necessary to make it in this, this whole world. Because they're going to need all the guidance that they can get. But I'm going to stop right here. If you made it to the end of my video, put disabled and prepared in the comment section. Give me those big thumbs up. Get this video to 200 likes, 200 views. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell twice to be notified. If you're old subscriber, make sure notifications are on. If you're not getting notifications, make sure you turn them on. And if you're not getting notifications that I go live, unsubscribe to my channel, subscribe back, hit the notification bell twice again. And I can always see at the end of all my videos, have fun playing with your nails if you wear nails or if you're growing your own. Have fun playing with your makeup if you wear makeup or you're just learning how to use it. And y'all, please live life because God only gives you one. Bye-bye.